up you guys Kelsey Bree here and welcome to my YouTube channel in today's video it's going to be a plan and get organized with me for college because that is the you know, next direction that I'm going towards like that's the next phase of my life the next chapter I'm so excited and I just thought I would videotape it and yeah so if you enjoy lifestyle fashion dance or college videos then be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel because that is what we do here and let's get right into the video So the first planning and organizing that I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change my old um, divider subjects. Like this one says English. These are the classes I took last year like my, for my senior year. So math I actually took like a pre-calc class in trigonometry. If you didn't know that hand sanitizer can wipe away Sharpie, it gets rid of it if you did not know already. So in order to do it, this is what you do. Drizzle just a little bit, like maybe two drops, just like that. Now you're just gonna get your finger or get a q-tip whatever i don't really care if it gets on my skin so just spread it out make sure it's covering like the sharpie let it sit for like a few seconds maybe 15 to 30. a piece of napkin cloth anything that you can use to wipe it away I finished cleaning the sharpie off of my binder dividers down here so yeah you see it looks brand new like there's absolutely no like excess or like leftover sharpie anywhere so now that I got rid of all that sharpie and my old classes that I took last year now I'm gonna replace them with the classes I'll be taking this year So the next thing I'm going to do that's going to help me get organized for college is plan, finish setting up my planner. Uh, in my last video, if you saw, I did a three simple DIY back to school supplies. Basically, I showed you guys how to make your supplies look cuter, like for free, absolutely no cost. So this is my journal slash planner that I'm going to be using to keep track of all of my homework assignments and quizzes and tests. I am going to turn this front part into a monthly calendar. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go on Google, I'm going to search up October month calendar, print out October, and you're going to see how I do that. have my October month calendar printed out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my scissors I'm gonna cut around it to make it fit more like nicer inside So my calendar for October is printed out. So I cut out my um, October stuff to make it smaller. So what I'm going to do now is I kind of fold it in half where I kind of want it. So I'm going to fold it in half because obviously when I close the book, it's going to, you know, it's going to bend anyways. But let me just do this. Hold on.
how it turned out guys like look at this it looks so cute and cool yeah okay now next i'm going to create my class schedule so let's do that so how i'm going to create my class schedule i'm going to head over to my google docs my screen is so dark i'm gonna head over to google docs because i'm a docs girl i actually don't like using word i don't know why but i actually prefer to use um google docs so let's begin I did a lot of decorating and I'm gonna show you some cool inspirational quotes. This one says, excellence is not being the best, it is doing your best. Then my second quote is, your only limit is your mind. And so my third quote is just stop overthinking things and just do. <laughs> and then here is my October calendar for 2020. I decorated it like I said. I haven't written in the days yet because I wanted to wait till I got to school knowing when some events are, when some organizations are starting, clubs and stuff. That's when I'll write in there. Then my second page is my class schedule. I also decorated it. The page after is like the date, the day of the week, and then I put one, two, three, four, five for my classes because I'm taking five classes this semester. I might be adding one more to it. And then I put notes to write additional notes and stuff that I need to know. So now we're getting into the fun stuff right now. I am packing my suitcase. This is my dad's suitcase, but I'm using it. I'm taking it. I'm going to pack my suitcase. This is like past stuff. Like we were planning on a trip and yeah, I gotta take all this out, but I'm gonna be putting my stuff in here. I'm taking these shoes with me. So this one. Another pair of shoes I'm going to take. Okay, I want my Converse for sure. Do you like these ones or do you think they're too dirty? They don't look that bad, white converse. Let's just put them in, because I think they're fine. Taking my Adidas for sure. And I can bring my running shoes. Yeah. Okay. I do want to go walking up there. Not by yourself. Yeah, I know. If you see my schedule, I literally put, during my lunch, I said, make a friend for each thing, make a friend. <laughs> so hopefully I can make a friend. These are stylish, and they could go with, the, with an outfit. I'm gonna lay these down like this though. Bed, then like you got colder, and at night it reached like 34. So it's not... Smile, cheese. It's all mine. Cheese. Okay. Oh, can I? Do you think I should leave this here? It's the brand new bevel with the side thing. Oh, you say you do. You can wear that with that shirt. It ain't gotta be. No, I know, but do you think I should bring it though? Because you said I got some outfits when I come. Oh, wait. So, after packing for an hour, this is what my room looks like. Very neat. You know what I'm saying? So this is the end of the video. I, If you stuck to the very end, I greatly appreciate it. All my recent uploads and social medias are down in the description box, so be sure to check out those links. I post on Wednesdays and Sundays, and I'll see you next time. Peace.